And I wanted to elaborate on what the 5% is because oftentimes online I see people confused and debating about what a 5% is. And I wanted to give you some clarity so that you could better understand that confusion and why you see people debate. The 16th degree in our 1 to 40s, which is a segment of our 120 lessons, gives us our first definition and description of a 5%er. It's very generic in general. But it is our first definition and description of a 5%er. It asks us the question, who are the 5% of this poor part of the planet Earth? Now, as a side note, the poor part of the planet Earth is generally speaking about the Western Hemisphere and more specifically the wilderness of North America. So that is the actual demographic or the target group that this lesson is specifically talking about when it says, who are the 5% of this poor part of the planet Earth? The answer says they are the poor righteous teachers who don't believe in the teachings of the 10%, who are all wise and know who the true and living God is and teach the true and living God as a son of man, supreme being, black man from Asia, teaching freedom, justice, and equality to all the human families of the planet Earth, otherwise known as civilized people, also Muslims and Muslim sons. Now, according to that very generic and general description, there are many people who could fall into that category of being a 5%er whether they're black, brown, red, yellow, white, male, or female of the past or of the present. You see some people who are out here that don't believe in the teachings of the 10%. And when I say teachings of the 10%, I'm talking about those who are the rich slave makers of the poor who teach the poor lies to believe that the almighty true and living God is a spook that can't be seen by the physical eye and they're blood suckers of the poor. So you see people who are doing that and you see people who don't believe in what they do. If you take it back a few years ago and you remember the Occupy Wall Street movement, you saw people talking about the 99% and the 1%. The 1% would be synonymous with the 10%. That 1% globally is synonymous with 10% in the Western Hemisphere or the wilderness of North America. So you see various different people who don't believe in the teachings of the 1% or the 10%. You also see various different people who teach the black man is God. They may be religious. They may teach that that God was Jesus of 2000 years ago and he was a black man, but they're still teaching that the black man is God. You may see people who also teach freedom, justice and equality to all the human families of the planet Earth, regardless of what their ethnic background is or religious base. They may teach all those different things. So according to that very generic general description, you see some people who can fall into that category of being a 5%er. Now, you look at someone like Bob Marley. He didn't believe in the teachings of the 10%. He taught that the black man was God, and he definitely taught freedom, justice, and equality to all the human families of the planet Earth because that's why his music resonated with all of humanity. Now, that is one category of people who can fit in that description of being a 5%, and that's oftentimes what you may just see online people who fit those basic generic general descriptions of a five percenter but essentially they may not be a five percent in the terms of living a culture and that is where you see the departure that is where you see the difference you have some people who generically or generally fit that description but when it comes to a codified culture or living by a system or a way of life that codifies that definition and that description you don't see the same people that may live that out so on one hand you may see people who are really muslims they go to the mosque they go to the temple they go to the mosque they're believers they have leaders they have they do all of these things that are defined as a muslim but they don't believe in the teaching of 10 percent. they teach the black man is god in some sense and they teach freedom justice and equality to all the human families of the planet earth the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality. To my people, here in the Western Hemisphere, and the United States of America, who has been lost from their own people for 400 years. Now they have been found. Almighty God, Allah. And the person of... 